This week, we continue our dungeon repairs. Benoit brings some friends to help inspect the domain. Ian discovers intruders at the chateau, and our friends from California test our acoustics. A couple years ago, Ian and I spent about six weeks redoing all the windows on just the ground floor of the chateau. And it was longer than that, right? It felt longer than that. But anyways, <laughs> we uh, have since then done a few windows here and there, and we are deciding that we need to refocus on it because... We're not, we're not just deciding. Winter is, winter is coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's a pro when you're in the dungeon, you have to say it <laughs> yeah. like Game of Thrones. Winter is coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> and and we so need we, <laughs> we need to weatherproof these windows because the paint that was on them has just been flaking off. There's and sun damage. There's water damage. We just, we need to put it in check. Otherwise, we'll lose the wood. So. Yeah. This window is, it's held in by screws. So it does not open. <laughs> Thankfully, it's October again, so we can leave the spider webs if we want to. Oh. Ooh. oh my gosh. They left all their staples in the window. Uh, the biggest spider I've seen in person. Okay. I'm not exaggerating. It was the size of my hand. That's how big dungeon spiders are. I mean, I've seen my fair share of big dungeon spiders. This thing would have picked you up and carried you out of the chateau. I got it from the bottom. Oh. Okay, there we go. Should what? we set out those seahorses? Yeah, let's get some sawhorses. Sawhorses? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you got seahorses, let's see what that looks like. <laughs> Bend the bristles and then twist a little bit. And then you can pull it along. This is still too much paint on this. Okay, square your hips up. Ian. No, what I want you to do is just pull the brush. So that's Horrendous. a full coat. <laughs> <laughs> is that not the response you were hoping for? <laughs> Sorry. This is my boss, everyone. <laughs> My boss in both work and life. <laughs> you can't tell me. It's really heavy. I know. Amazing. And now close it. Is it gonna stay? Ha! No drill gun required. I'm quite impressed. Yeah. We may still want to come back tomorrow with some Windex. Well, as long as the paint looks good, I'm happy. Yeah.
Benoit brought a few friends to inspect our roofs before the rain, and we're glad they came because they quickly found a few problems. Après, euh, nous, on avait trouvé des, en fait, des gouttières qui, qui ont une chaîne et l'eau s'attend du chaîne et t'as même pas une gaine. Mm. Euh, Est-ce que tu sais si ça marche bien ou moyennement Quand c'est euh, de la petite pluie, en fait, ça suit. Donc c'est joli. Mais quand il y a des gros orages, en fait, ça éclabousse et ça risque d'éclabousser la façade et la faire euh, verdir. Il y a une gargouille qui sort et on a mis une chaîne. C'est-à-dire qu'au lieu d'avoir le goutte à goutte, ça suit la chaîne. Mm. C'est joli. Et si vraiment il y a trop d'eau, ça partait mais dans un massif. We were not surprised to find that more tiles had shifted, but thankfully they were happy to put them back for us. No. Il faut que tu écartes un peu, Jo. Attention, Daphné. C'est bon. Ouais, lâche. Rien, tout va bien, Daphné. Non, dis-moi. Oui, non, c'est vrai. Non, c'est rien. Non. On a l'impression qu'il y a tout un rang qui est descendu sur toi, là-haut. Ouais, mais il est moins en plus. C'est les compagnons de France. C'est euh, un, un, comme un organisme. Il a pris euh, dans son métier oui. toutes les combines et il a fait le tour de la France pour apprendre toutes les méthodes de couverture. Ah, c'est cool. C'est un comme si c'était un des meilleurs de France. Quoi. Oh. Donc, c'est un maître. Il te le dira pas. Ouais. Déjà sur la toiture qu'il nous a montré, ce qu'il a fait, c'est top. Hein. Ouais. Et Jérôme est dans le même, dans le même style. Oui. Donc euh, as, là, là, en couverture, tu ne peux pas tout mieux. Euh... C'est pas, 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 pas pour faire, leur faire des fleurs, mais franchement, c'est top. Ah ouais <rire> <rire> Quitte à la fois à prendre une nacelle pour là, tu fais tout à la nacelle. Donc là, sinon, on a couverture. Et de l'autre côté Comment Et de l'autre côté <rire> Il y a un sourire. Euh... <rire> c'est pas une nacelle de... Ouais, c'est justement ça Qu'est-ce que c'est agréable par là Oui, alors il y a plein qui tombent là-bas, à droite. Ouais. Non, ça, le truc qui est bien, c'est que si tu tombes, tu tombes à l'eau. Euh, ouais, non, t'en <rire> pas. <rire> Ouais, c'était ça. Il y a le coin ici. Là, ça commence aussi sur l'angle. Moi, oh, j'avais pas vu ce chalet chassignon. Non, ouais, mais tu regardes pas mon plateau. Non, t'exagères. <rire> On va aux charpentes Ouais. Oui 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 <rire> On est chaud <rire> Enfin, la beauté, toi, t'as de la beauté pour faire. Mmh. C'est top. Là, pour moi, il y avait une échelle. De ouais, je pense qu'il y avait une croix, une ah, échelle. Bon, oui. You think that there, those two metal pieces that are sticking out, that you probably had, you, somebody oui, oui, at some point échelle. had a ladder hooked up onto them, so that you could get up to the bell tower. Je vais quand même vous montrer encore un endroit là-bas. Ouais, bah, tu vois, il est en train de péter. Ici. Non, c'est la couche d'aubier, c'est rien, ça. Ça, c'est normal, hein. C'est normal, ça. Oh, ça, c'est de l'aubier, ça. C'est ça, bah oui. Oui, souvent, c'est arrivé plus qu'autre chose. C'est onéreux, c'est de mettre un coup de produit. Euh... C'est aucun, aucun intérêt. D'accord. Thankfully, the château roof is mostly healthy, but it's always good to check before winter. we had planned on taking out the bamboo. We had not planned for this rain, but it should be stopping in half an hour. 
The bamboo we're taking out is because the roots are going under the pavement and it's pulling up the road and it's also getting into our septic system, which is a problem. So basically what they do is they cut down all of the bamboos, then they get rid of the leaves that have fallen on top, and then they go in and dig it up a little bit and pull out the mother line of roots that's extending outwards and they follow that till they get to the end. Mika actually had a really wonderful idea, which is to call the local zoo and see if they need any fresh cut bamboo. So I'm gonna work on that this morning. After removing all of the bamboo, Miguel and his crew added seeds so that we can get grass in this area again. And I'm kind of thinking that we might wanna plant some flowers here, but I was really excited because this little tulip head that has been hiding amongst the bamboo for so long is now very visible and is so beautiful. Might need to clean it off a little bit. <laughs> but the bamboo always like grows out into open spaces and that's why there like weren't any roots going into the trees. They're all like migrating under the pavement to try and reach the grassy area over there. Uh, I'm glad we caught it when we did though because we would have had to redo the whole road. And now we only have to redo a little bit. A little while ago, Daphne and I came and cleaned up this deck space behind me and we brought some tables and chairs, made a little fire pit, and we put up these cool solar lights that we got, and it made for a really nice evening. And we actually thought we might be coming back to use this place a bit more then. Um, but then soon after that, we came out here and saw that it was all gone, except for the fire pit. That just seems to have been kicked over, but uh, it would appear that we have <laughs> some unwanted visitors who made off with our solar lights. So we're a little upset about that. This is a trail camera and normally it's I think for hunting but today it's it's for mysteries. So um, I'm going to find a tree to put this on and I'm realizing now that I probably should have brought a ladder. There we go. I'm sure this roof is total. Oh, that's plastic. Okay. Okay, if I fall, you gotta catch me, all right? Keeping an eye out, Arkea? There's pirates in these woods. We're gonna take their picture. Okay, so we'll see how this works. I'll leave you here tonight and check tomorrow. Arkea, okay, you gonna catch me? All right, ready? One, two, three. So when I put that hunting camera up, I actually didn't expect to catch anything. It was more just to see if it even worked, and I figured it might pick up a squirrel or a wild boar or something. And it did actually get footage of a badger, so that was cool. Um, but within the first week of it being up, it caught two trespassers who were just walking their way through the forest, and they were going straight to the cabin. And you can tell they seem pretty comfortable with the space. They had their dog off leash, and the funny part is as soon as he sees a camera, he says, oh look, there's a camera. And then they walk off screen because they know they're not supposed to be here. So that's pretty frustrating. Um, we are gonna take this to the local police station and Daphne and I are gonna do a long walk around the perimeter and just try to beef up the security a little bit. Speaking of thieving pirates, we also discovered several fake TikTok accounts stealing our content and pretending to be us. So if you're on TikTok, then our one and only account is The Beau Chateau. All right, 
back to the video. Our dear friends Kevin and Debbie came to visit us from California, and Kevin asked to play his guitar in the Grand Staircase to see how it echoes, and it sounded amazing. Man, I don't know if this reverberates with a guitar, but when somebody belts out a note with a voice, this thing just, it's kind of overwhelming. <laughs> French tune. This actually hails from Scotland, but it's about good friends meeting up now and later. So I hope I don't screw this song up. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing. And if you'd like to support us and get exclusive content, join us on Patreon. <laughs> she likes the music. <laughs>